and welcome back to my channel. So, so the video is going to be everything to do with my little dash hand puppy. So I think um, anything that you can do to make them feel more ease and more comfortable is always a bonus. Not only for your puppy but also for yourselves. I really just want to make sure that he is taken care of. So I just wanted to um, mention before we get into the video um, a new bed that I have for my little puppy. Um, so it's actually from Pup Naps and it's their um, calming anti-anxiety um, dog bed. Um, it's definitely become his favorite um, place to sleep. Like it's all really fluffy so I think kind of mimics their um, mother's fur and like and I think because it's got so much filling it sort of just like really hugs them and it's just really comforting. The covering is, is completely removable which is great because you know little puppies have accidents. So I'll leave a link to um, Pup Naps in the description and um, I also have a code which is SarahBest25 um, which gives you $25 off your um, Pup Naps bed. Uh, I got the small in charcoal. Doug has just topped in for a nap right here and so this is the little Pup Naps bed and and as you can see he's absolutely loving it so this is actually the first time I've actually owned a dog um, my family's never had dogs with me um, I've always had cats so I'm definitely very much a cat person so I'm um, having a puppy or like a dog it's just a really big adjustment it's something I'm not used to uh, at all so that's been um, a little bit different for me um, just based on like the level of care they need and supervision, like cats, you can kind of let them roam and they're pretty much got themselves sorted. But with dogs, a lot more training involved and a lot more um, observation. So it has actually been um, quite a difficult um, transition, kind of having a puppy in the household. Um, but yeah, I really just wanted to share some things that have helped us. Um, um, so first of all, um, their bedding situation is quite important. So um, with them, crate training um, it is quite difficult. Um, they are quite stubborn and they don't really um, like it very much. But I think the important thing is that when you figure out where you want them to be sleeping is that you stick to it because they are a very stubborn breed. And we've had him for almost a month now and he's only sort of this past couple of days to a week uh, we're really starting to see that he's more comfortable in his crate um so what we actually have is we have an open play pen and then within that we have like a pee pad and we have all these toys blankets and then um where he sleeps as well which is like an open flat bed um so he kind of has all of that space but then he's like got his own bed and there's a whole separate area. Um, so I think figuring out where you want them to sleep is important. We did try him in the bathroom, you know, in like an actual smaller crate on the floor of our bedroom. And he didn't really take too well to any of those things. But um, I, like, I thought that having him in a smaller confined space would be better. But I think because he spends the majority of his time in the um, main living area, um, that he was really comfortable just in like an open playpen with his usual bed that he sleeps in during the day rather than changing it too much and having you know a different bed in a different environment I think really just having um, a consistent space for them um, at the first couple of uh, weeks to months is um, definitely an important important thing um, also just being really persistent with everything like his toilet training is not ideal let me tell you it has been a challenge I think he goes on like the proper because we've got like an indoor grass pee pad thing um, he probably goes on there maybe 50% or probably more now um, it's a challenge but it's just that repetition of taking him there every time he wakes up from a nap every time he eats every time he drinks every time we play with him just um, constantly putting him on the mat and just um, we're really trying to use positive reinforcement we found that um, a lot of people recommended positive encouragement rather than um, punishment when they didn't go in the right spot was the um, better option. Um, so another thing I think is important to remember is that you are in charge of them not the other way around. Um, dash hands especially are known to be um, quite um, bossy and like mischievous and he definitely is um, included in that. Uh, he is very very sooky if he doesn't get his own way and um, if we um, you know tell him off for doing something like he is quite uh, at that biting stage because he is teething quite a bit. 
um, yeah, so he um, is very mischievous and um, I think the important thing to remember is that you're in charge and they've got to learn the way that you do things and you can see him in the background there, um, the way that you do things and kind of you set your rules with um, like a feeding schedule, like what time um, we feed him at 6pm and 6am, that's the times that um, we've found works for us, it works for him. Um, so yeah, it's all about just being very persistent and just knowing um, what you want him to be doing and starting off that young, don't fall into any bad habits and um, making it work for you. So other things that we did um, with his bed, we also put in a, like a $2 um, clock from um, Kmart. So I think like the ticking clock sound or something, I heard that it um, mimics their mother's heartbeat. Um, so it actually calms them down. I'm not sure if I saw, saw much of a difference um, when we had that or not, but it was $2 and it was worth a try. And he still sleeps with that now. Um, we just put it like under his bed. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not really sure if it helps, but I've heard in some cases it might. Um, so definitely give that a go if you are struggling. Um, another thing is making sure they're warm. Um, they've come in from an environment with their like mother and all their siblings and their um, home and all of that. So um, making sure that they're warm enough. So we have a hot water bottle and we also turn the heater on um, for him. Um, another thing that we used to do, we don't do it anymore, is actually we had music playing through the TV all night. That's also good if you go out as well, just leaving the radio on or just like something, some bit of noise so they can hear things um, and they don't feel so alone. If you take away anything from this video, honestly, my number one tip is that get yourself a little security camera. So this is life changing. I cannot tell you. So I will grab up my phone here. I have a little camera which is from um, Kmart. It was like sixty or seventy dollars, and honestly, it has made such a difference. What we should have done from like day one, we got it like the second week. Um, we should have got it sooner. But it's just a little security camera, and you have an app that it connects to and it just like comes up here and you can like see everything so like you can currently see like the living room there and you can like speak through it you can record you can like move the direction you can set off an alarm if you want to um lots of different things you can do with it it's just from Kmart definitely one of the best purchases I definitely um think everyone needs if you're having a little puppy um just the way we use it is whenever we go out or something, um, I can just check it on him and it's just that peace of mind knowing that he's asleep or he's not injured or he's actually fine. Like, cause he's gonna be barking. Like he's gonna be like whinging when you're leaving and when you're coming home cause he hears the car and he hears the noise and he hears the front door open and he um, knows something's going on. But you're not actually sure that like when you're gone, is he asleep, is he not? Like it's just yeah really reassuring that when we're both out he's fine you know even if i'm in my bedroom here i can just look at him in the lounge room just to make sure he's okay so you don't have to be constantly looking and just worrying i yeah i think also having enough toys for them is quite important so they're not bored um there's a couple of different ones he likes that like we actually got this little elephant that is meant to be like a baby rattle and it has that noise to it and he just carries it around and you know being such a small dog he can't play with really big toys so like my auntie got like these little mini tennis balls that he quite likes as well um so just trying different things and like toilet roll um the like, cardboard loves playing with them um that sort of stuff he really likes zach like, socks and underwear he just pulls them out i don't even know where he gets them but he's constantly playing with them also important not to be too hard on yourself like for me i really struggled in the first week i was um, really having a hard time adjusting um, to having him in the household and um, not being able to you know continue my like normal routine um, which I found really difficult um, but you know it's like a couple of weeks later I'm loving him I'm really excited to be able to take him outside and take him for walks and that sort of thing um, so I think just be really patient um, with yourself and with your puppy it's gonna take time for you to adjust it's gonna take time for him to adjust 
and to learn your routine and just be away from his family. So don't, yeah, try not to be too hard on yourself if you are really struggling. Also, um, if you can uh, and you want to have them up on the couch, um, see if you can get a dash ramp or even build a ramp. Um, makes it so much better because they have um, quite bad back problems sometimes uh, if they like hurt themselves jumping or anything like that. So yeah, just make sure um, you have a way for them to get up on the couch safely. Um, Zach actually built our dash ramp and he used it from day one. Absolutely loves it. Got to think about things like that. Um, we got a baby gate for the stairs and we have like this fly wire so he can't fall down the stairs. Um, just things like that. Just kind of do all that planning before you get your puppy um, so that you have everything ready to go. Definitely a lot more to learn. He's only still very young and we're about to get his second immunization so he can go walking, which is going to be a whole new challenge of itself. He doesn't really like the um, collar too much, so we're going to go get a harness because I think it's better for their like head and neck as anyway. Um, but it's going to be yeah, really interesting to see how he takes to that. I think he'll like it though because he... You know, he keeps looking outside and whenever we like hold him and just take him out to the front, he's loving it. He um, looking, looks around and he just, yeah, looks really excited to kind of get out there and explore. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video and if you are looking at getting a puppy at any time soon, um, I hope these um, little tips and tricks were really helpful and that you found um, some advice within this video. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. All right. Bye, guys.